This was the scene on the Dutch-Belgian border on Friday. Several crossing points blocked by both Belgian and Dutch farmers. We started the blockade at 12 o'clock last night and we hope to stand here until tomorrow evening, or longer maybe. I think there are about 40 of us who are now supporting the Belgians and then we hope that if we need them one time they will also come and support us again so that we are strong together. On Thursday night, farmers from all over Europe ended their day-long noisy protest outside the EU Parliament. It coincided with an EU leaders' summit just a few hundred metres away. One cause of their anger is a body of new EU regulations designed to move farming towards a more sustainable, climate-friendly future. Too costly, too quick, they say. Late Thursday, EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen with the Dutch and Belgian Prime Ministers met with farmers' representatives and promised to look again at what they call the administrative burden. Friday, Belgian farmers' unions met with regional politicians. They want less monitoring of their environmental compliance and fewer fines. I'm going to listen to their complaints. We are going to see what we can reasonably do. But basically, I have a lot of sympathy for their complaints. We are now going to see how we can make that concrete. Meanwhile, French farmers appear to be satisfied with new pledges from their government on Friday. Millions of dollars worth of new aid, tax breaks and permission to keep using certain pesticides. Hundreds started to head home. These farmers' protests have taken Europe's politicians by surprise. They seem keen to grant them concessions and quickly. One reason for that is European parliamentary elections coming up in June, with far-right parties across Europe only too keen to use the farmers' grievances for their own political ends. EU leaders are desperate to deny them that chance.